on the implementation of that judgment, Bakasi Peninsula was excised from Nigeria. Okay. That exercise ended up leaving a serious indentation on the physical and, uh, map yes. of this country. Yes. And in the process, you find that Cross River State became hemmed in, hemmed in in such a way that by whatever measure that you want to extend the boundary, yes. to determine the boundary between Cross River State and Akwaibom State, yes. it became absolutely impossible to do so. And maritime boundaries yes. across the globe are determined by what they call unclosed articles. That's the United Nations law of the sea. Sure. So it's determined by unclosed articles. Yes. So by whichever standard yes. um, that you apply yes. to try to determine the boundary between Cameroon and Nigeria, you find that because Cross River has been hemmed in yes. as a result of the Bakasi. removal of Bakasi yes. in Cameroon, yes. Cross River cannot practically make a boundary with Cameroon. Uh, it is a okay. that now makes that boundary with Cameroon. With Cameroon I see. And because Akwaibo makes the boundary with Cameroon, that is the seaward boundary yes. with Cameroon, yes. since Cross River is now inside, inside, hemmed in as a result of the removal uh, of, 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 of Cameroon, of Bakasi yes. to Cameroon. So Akwaibo now has that boundary directly with Cameroon. So, the oil so wells. what it means invariably is that there were any oil wells owned by Cross River State since it has lost yes. a boundary with Cameroon, yes. see what yes. it means such oil fields actually goes to a point oil point. state. But beyond that, the issue is even much more technical. Yes. Because sometimes, um, 2005, 2006, when the issue of onshore, offshore um, oil derivation from uh, distant wars are protected by the federal government. Cross River actually had some 90 something oil wells. Yeah. But with the handing over of Bakasi yeah. to Cameroon, eventually some of the oil, oil wells were lost. And automatically, the moment Cross River ceased to have a boundary, see what yes and automatically lost all those oil wells the then cross river state government went to court to supreme court and the supreme court pronounced that cross river by virtue of the reality established by unclosed articles yes. which makes it not to have a common boundary yes. with cameroon by implication, that Cross River was no more a littoral state. No that, one oil producing state. Littoral well, state. Littoral state. But what does that mean you explain? A literal state is a state that has boundaries. Okay. Yes. Okay. See what sure. 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 You understand? Yes. That? And because you are now not a littoral state, yes. it means you cannot even lay claims to having oil wells, wells. in the water. water. I see. Do you understand? Yes. Because now it is locked in, in right. with the removal of Bakasi. Yes. So eventually the Supreme Court made that pronouncement. And the Supreme Court made the pronouncement based on the suits filed, brought before it by Cross River State Government, Donald Duke. So he sued Akwaibo State Government and the Federation of Nigeria for denying him the state revenue. And the, 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 the Supreme Court made that pronouncement. So how then can you hold a white woman state responsible? We did not go to court in the first place. Mm -hmm. And because we are brothers, we would rather have said, forget about going to court. Let yeah. us sit down and discuss. Yeah. Because we can't be happy when you are not happy. Yeah, that's right. And that eventually was the case. Because the 70 something, 76 oil wells you are talking of was politically determined after the Supreme Court judgment. It was politically determined by the then governor of Akwaibom State, Obamata, uh, conceding the 76 oil wells to, to Cross River. Not on the basis of any legal framework, 
but just to establish, yes, to establish that the, 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 the clarity of the fact that two of us are inseparable. Yes. So what happened of recent is that there was difficult a problem between Aquaibom State and River State, the boundary between Aquaibom State and River State. Yes. The two states from time immemorial had been enjoying a peaceful relationship without any disputes mm. in the boundaries. Mm. But the last administration in the country woke up at an instant and created artificial boundary problem between Aquaibom State and River State. In the process, almost 196 oil wells. 196 oil yes, wells oil belonging wells. to Aquaibom. Belonging to Aquaibom were now ceded to River State. Eventually, President Yaradwa is one man who believes in the rule of law. Mm. He does not believe that what belongs to you should be taken by another person. Right. And so as soon as he came in, we wrote to the President that we, we are worried that at an instant, the former President woke up and created artificial crisis, mm. boundary crisis between Aquaibom and, and River State. In the process, we lost 196 oil wells to River State. We want you, please, to exercise your discretion by um, applying your due process in this case and right this wrong. So the president sent it out to revenue allocation. Not revenue allocation to wherever I think uh, Surveyor General, the Boundary Commission, mm -hmm. who had to apply again. Uh, the proper uh, techniques uh, to determine the boundary uh, between Aquaibom and, and, yes. and, uh, and the rivers. So in that process, it was actually found that President Obasa Joe's administration compelled that boundary to be so wrongly determined. Mm. And so it was, it had to be rectified. Okay. It is that rectification mm. by President Yaradwa yes. that returned this number of oil wells to Aquaibom. And so that is how Aquaibom emerged as number one oil producer. But I do not think also it is a feat that we achieved by accident. Mm. Aquaibom State is fairly peaceful. Yes. It is fairly peaceful because the leadership does not tolerate nonsense. Yes. It does not believe that development and anarchy can go hand in hand. It does not believe that children who fail to condition their minds and remain in Aquaibom State will help the state to grow. He does not tolerate it because he is one person who does not feel mm. that violence has a way of resolving any issue. And so because of our antipathy to these elements of, of, of behaviors yes. in Aquaibom State, we have decided to face the issue of the criminality that kidnapping and all these things. Yes, security. this is another question on the Very, very you. Yes. yes. So, as soon as we came in, the issue of security became paramount. Uh, and I used to hear that um, kidnapping started uh, in our administration in Aquaibom State. No, it is not true. Because even in the previous administration, in the previous administration of Obamata, even as, 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 as a free and ordinary citizen of mm. the state, I had cause to intervene in the kidnapping of a chairman of a local government in that happens during